Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Ford Era. You got me, Solomon, here, and today is exciting. We are heading from Snohomish, Washington, all the way down to Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'm gonna be driving dusty roads, my 1971 F350 camper truck. And uh, right now we're just heading into the shop. I uh, don't have too much stuff left to do. Need to basically check all the fluids, make sure that there's enough of everything, transmission fluid, oil, coolant, brake fluid, etc. And um, my truck's pretty much ready to go. Yesterday, everything got buttoned up, drove her out. She's looking great. So just need to do all that. Already checked all the tire pressures. I mean, the truck's ready to run. It's pretty cool that we picked this baby up about five and a half weeks ago. And uh, she's about to go on her maiden voyage. So let's head on into the shop and see uh, what the guys are up to. Good morning, Kyle. Uh, so what all uh, what all you got left to do on your list? Honestly, so much I can't quite remember, but uh, just trying to go through the final check. We're hitched and ready, but not ready. A little bit of stuff, though. Yeah, a little bit of packing at home, a little bit of final fixies on the truck. And uh, Dude, this go. freaking looks so cool. That's pretty good. Especially with the trailer. So Kai literally got this trailer just because he wanted to pull it behind this beautiful truck because I had a camper trailer. <laughs> but yours is a way better flex. So this is a 2015 model Shasta. Actually, uh, they made like a redo of it for 2015. I think it was their 75th anniversary or something like that. This thing is super nice. If only my trailer was this nice. So Kyle's actually bringing his whole family, which is pretty awesome. And uh, here you guys get a sneak peek at his new Bronco. Don't tell him I told you. And then I guess Brian's all done. He just needs to hitch this to his trailer. There you go. So we got a little bit of stuff we're prepping. And uh, we will see you guys when we're ready to hit the road or if anything else fun happens between now and then, I'll make sure to pick you back up. So see you soon. All right guys, so just went to Napa, got the air filter, got coolant, got some oil, got some transmission fluid. Gonna throw some in here, gonna clip you guys on and uh, get her done. Alright guys, so looks pretty good, looks comfy, feels to get nice and hooked up, got some towels, got a sleeping bag, got my suitcases up here, bought a couple board games, so it's starting to look nice and homey. Make America glad again. So yeah, we're all getting ready to head out, so uh, probably pick you guys up in a little bit. All right guys, so we thought we were about to leave and then we started driving out and Kyle just, uh, he had these springs over here built and put in and these are only a five pack of springs and it was really sagging the back of his truck. So last minute swap out to the OG Leafs, which is a seven pack and uh, they're trying to get that done so I don't want to bother them. But once we finish that up, we're gonna get back on the road, so not nice shiny and black but we're gonna get down there and that's what matters right exactly. <laughs> never give up we'll get them for the moment. that's it but it is looking good under here 
It's contrast. You need a little bit of contrast. Exactly. Match is the rear All one color makes it look bad. Exactly. Put a rust and crust and dirt to match the body. And so just so they know, it is an almost perfect ending. It's not a bad ending. It's not perfect always. Yep. I mean, this is part of it, you know. It is. If it was easy, everybody would do it. It's a good thing you have your own personal junkyard to go outside and pick apart. Five minutes in, pulling back in the yard, ready to know where the parts are coming from. Yep. And we have many options. We have multiple there. choices. Oh, yeah. There's more sleek crew cabs here than I think anywhere else, uh, anywhere except for Dan's place. But we haven't been out there yet. They don't. Don't blow up the spot. Nobody knows who. Who, who what? Exactly. Marco. And then you guys get to see a little uh, sneak peek. This is a Bronco in the making over here. Eruption Green 2022. We all remember this bad boy. So, yeah, that's a little update, and uh, he's putting it back together now. So we should be on the road shortly, and we'll see you then. All right, guys, time to move my truck. So Kalka pull his out, and uh, we're about to hit the road. Fired right up! Hell yeah! And we are off. I'm gonna be going ahead. I need to go get some fuel. Everybody else already fueled up. So, gonna go to the gas station right now. So we just got here to the first gas station. I already fueled up. Put in 14 gallons, 70 bucks. And uh, let's play a game. Whoever could guess the correct amount of fuel I'm gonna be using for this entire trip, Drop it in the comment section below right now. And uh, if you're correct, I'm gonna say you something else. Hey guys, so we just stopped for fuel in, uh, I think we're in Snoqualmie, and it definitely looks like snow. So I'm doing good, just uh, put another 14 gallons in. Carl's doing good, he also filled up, he put about 14 as well. Having fun? How's it feeling so far? You know, I'm starting to get better. <laughs> Shift points were weird. I was a little unsure of the truck. RPMs, you know, like, I finally downloaded this little OBD2 thing and got a better feeling for the truck. But at first, I didn't have a lot of confidence yet. Heck yeah. Let's just hope that the other trucks all stay good too. Yeah. Mine feels good for now. Brian's truck and he's pulling his big trailer. So this one's really got a got this one cut out for it. It looks really good. So we're gonna get back on the highway and uh, enjoy. Stopped for a second because my buddy Jeremiah 
wanted to say hi while we were driving through his town, and he brought out his awesome 74 Benside F250 crew cab. And I love this thing. Super cool. One of my favorite parts about doing all these road trips is stopping in to visit people and, you know, we've just never met each other. He, you know, follows me on Instagram and we've been talking back and forth and he's like, hey, I'm going to be over here. Uh, would you like to stop in? You're going to be passing right by. I was like, of course. So, got all the trucks and uh, we're just chugging along. Maddie, you having fun? Yeah. How's blue riding? Good and cold. Yeah, you're a little cold? Yeah. Yeah. The, bed. The, the heater ain't that good in the back seat? Not so good. <laughs> it does the front seat decent. Back yeah. seat, not so good. That's why I'm ready for bed. Oh, yeah. So, just wanted to show you guys his truck and uh, we're just hanging out for a tiny bit and then we're gonna hit the road again. So we just pulled all the trucks over together so we could get a really cool yeah. picture, which we got. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna give you guys a little walk. We got Kyle 66. We got Dusty, 71. We got Red, Brian, 77. And then we got Jeremiah's, 74. And what's crazy is he's on the same size tires as the rest of the guys, except that he's tucking his two wheel drive, 9016. So you can see those tires versus those tires. They're the exact same size. Just crazy cool. So now we're gonna go fuel up and uh, keep moving. Here goes the Phoenix Convoy. Alright guys, so it's one something in the morning. We decided to call it a night. We just came to some RV park and we got all the trucks situated. It's super dark here, but in the middle of plugging in trailers, obviously their trailers have actual use. Mine has nothing, no heat or nothing, but it's alright. I got blankets. So we're gonna be setting up and going to bed and uh i'll catch you guys in the morning figured the next clip would have been in the morning but figured i'd show you guys what our uh setup is so got my bed back over here hung up my jacket and uh that's it so going to bed now we'll see you in the morning good morning everybody so i'm just getting up had a pretty comfy sleep it's a little bit cold no heater now I know I need a couple more blankets, so I've got to find another thrift shop. And here is the view that I'm working with today. So here's the camp. There's Kyle's truck and trailer. And there's Brian's truck and trailer. This is just too cool. This is what it's about. Having fun with some friends making memories so everybody's getting up we're gonna be getting ready and then we're gonna hit the road pretty soon so uh i'll pick you guys back up when we go
Hope you enjoyed that drone footage. That was a lot of fun to take and uh, happy that everything worked out on that because sometimes drones don't want to go up in the air. So that was pretty cool. And now we just packed everything up and we're getting ready to hit the road. So enjoy these montages of the trip. We just pulled over because uh, there is a really cool parking yard over here that uh, Kyle's been eyeballing for a long time. And we I'm just like gonna see what the goods are. Yeah, we just stopped. The guy was actually pretty cool. He just told us not to park across the street because State Patrol will give us a ticket. So now uh, we're gonna walk around. And we're gonna show you guys what is here. And just from the little bit that we already walked, I can tell you. This place is rad. you guys enjoyed that drone footage that's pretty cool this whole place is kind of crazy because there's just so much hair and it's very condensed but uh just found this unibody tailgate it's already taken off and then this has a pretty awesome tailgate on it too i'm going to talk to the guy see if he wants to give me a good deal on these 
And then uh, we're gonna keep walking around, see if there's any other cool stuff that I just have to have. Tailgate off. Now to carry it up there and pay the man. All right, so this is the score. Got four hubcaps and a nice tailgate. Gonna load it up. We're gonna hit the road. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're still over here at the junkyard, and this awesome sheriff named Brian stopped by because he wanted to check out the rigs. And then we were telling him how uh, our Brian has some issue with his electrical box. So you had a NOS one at the house. Yes. So I just wanted to say thank you. No I worries, really appreciate man. it. This Damn. is the coolest part of this whole, you know, truck community. Everybody's just a big family. Cool, thanks. No problem, man. Thanks. Absolutely. Brian's over here getting her installed. You look like a happy camper. I'm so happy. This uh, made in China, it definitely resembles made in China because it worked just long enough to say it worked and then it quit working. How crazy is it? How lucky is it, man? I mean, so good of people out in this whole thing. And he stopped in a Ford Crew Cab. It's a modern one, but still a Ford Crew Cab. Yeah, <laughs> and he loves our trucks, and he's a good guy, and man, did he hook me up. I couldn't be happier. We're legit NOS Ford part. Too cool. Now we'll be able to make it up that huge hill right there. I'll probably be passing all you guys now. Still not the <laughs> gas station, but that's all right. <laughs> If you guessed we needed to stop for more fuel, you'd be right. So I don't remember if this is the third or fourth one. But we're fueling up. Everybody is fueling up. I think this trip is probably going to be the most that I ever stopped for fuel. This thing is a hog. Brian's truck's a hog. Kyle's isn't. He's actually getting like 12 miles per gallon. But got that coyote though. Now you guys get to see how we park up for the night. Mine's a lot easier, I just back in. But these boys, they gotta get fancy. All right, now we're gonna set up camp. All right guys, so we just got over here to the RV park that we're staying in tonight. Dusty has made the trip. We're in Nampa, Idaho, right outside of Boise. And uh, Kyle's getting his trailer situated. Doing good, good, good. And then Brian is getting his all set up. As well. So Mine's a little bit easier. I just get to reverse and that's it. So uh, once everything's all set up, we're gonna go to bed. So see you then.
What up everybody? So I head out early this morning. The guys are still over at the campground. So I wanted to come by over here. This is Jimbo's place. Here's Jimbo. And uh, I saw I had a little oil leak, so we're just gonna take care of that right now. And then here's a little bit about what's out front. Josh from Modern Timber brought over Merle and we're gonna do a walk the truck with this in a couple of minutes and then uh, we're gonna go find the guys again so just want to give you guys a little update and uh, the what the truck's gonna be obviously a separate video so stay tuned for that and we'll see you when I get back on the road so I just made two those two what the truck videos now we came back over here to Jimmy's and uh, I asked him to just look at my little oil leak I wanted to put a new clamp on here and uh, he pulled out this hose and look how cracked up it is. So that's why I've been leaking oil. And <laughs> so it was a crew cap long bed two by 454, 73 or four, and I bought it. Ooh. Oh man. Uh, Dude, thank you so much for helping me with this. Danger. Danger. Now we got a little bit of fresh hose. He's getting her put in there. And I'll be able to hit back on the road and not have to worry about leaking more oil. So I just had to pull three of these together. Collins. If you guys see Jimmy's video, he's making one right now. But here we go. About to hit the road. Gonna catch up with Kyle and Brian. I'm starting to get famous enough. I get internet real for showing up. See you guys. All right, now on the road. Well, would you look who we found? So we finally caught up. So because I had that little bit of trouble by Jimmy's, they wanted to hit the road. So they just went ahead and uh, they've been about 60 miles ahead of me for the last couple hours. And now we finally caught up to each other, which is awesome. I don't know what that's all about, but Brian's truck is smoking, and uh, let's see what's up with that. You have the one out of my out of your camper. Perfect. Mine has a lock tab. Yep, there. I already pulled this lock. Okay. Do we have any? I do. Yes. I do. the extinguishers but luckily nothing crazy happened so we're gonna deal with this and I'll update you later I guess we're gonna go. All right guys, so we put whatever training fluid we had, it was like two and a half quarts, and we're gonna see how far we can get down the road.
All right, guys, so we are in the middle of Nevada somewhere, and uh, we just ran out of fuel. And this is actually the second time we ran out of fuel. I forgot to grab the camera before, so my five gallon jug over here is empty. So luckily, we have Kyle. Captain Savaho. Captain Savaho. All right, let's see in a few. All right. You good? You have service? Uh, probably. Uh, here's my credit card. No, I'm good. Don't worry about it later. No. All right. I'm gonna do your card. Bye. It looks like our rescue just showed up. Hell yeah. Well, you look a little bit lighter. Yeah, I left them behind so I could get here a little faster. So I got a story for you. All right. So remember when you pulled over, you're a little bit frustrated. You're like, why did Pops just blow through that town? Didn't think about anybody's fuel stops, blah, blah, blah. So town's kind of a jaunt that way. Okay. And I'm almost at town. And there's this hazards on on the side of the road. So I messaged him, I'm like, you dead in the water? He said, yeah, it's done. So I pull over my like, crap. Now what are we going to do? So I walk up to the window. He's like, I'm out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> so I only was able to bring you one can because you I had did. to leave the other one in there. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, I'm leaving the trailer at Love's, I'm throwing cans near and I'm just doing 90 miles an hour back. <laughs> hey, that's pretty funny. <laughs> no, no, no intentional sabotage, yeah, he karma. did it to himself. <laughs> yeah, karma. <laughs> yeah, that works out pretty good. I was just pissed because we were going to pull in and then he just kept driving. I was like, oh, he's got enough fuel. For a plan or something. Yeah, he only got 10 miles more than I did. Dude, and we put 17.2 gallons in an 18-gallon tank when we got the loves. Damn. So we were pretty tight as well. Okay. So here we are. Yep. Here we are. Now uh, we're going to fuel up, and I'll see you when we get back on the road. All right, guys. So we just fueled up. Now we are back on the road. And uh, hoping that this five-gallon jug is going to get us there about 22 miles and I'm getting five miles a gallon ish so fingers crossed never ever been so excited to pull up to the gas station time to fuel up. I just went inside. I bought two more five galloners and I still have my other five gallons. So now we're gonna have a total of 35 gallons because from here until I guess the next pass it's gonna be also pretty sketch. So I'm gonna fill everything up and then hit the road again. Just pulled over to where everybody else is over here at the Loves and uh, we're just regrouping. Kyle actually is gonna be splitting up. I mean, we're gonna be together for the next few hours, but eventually he's gonna pull off to go to an RV park, stay the night with his kids, and then um, Brian and I are just gonna keep hauling all the way to Scottsdale, try to push through the entire night, but probably just stay at a rest stop or something, because you could catch up much faster than we can. I can, unfortunately. I hate to do this to you guys, but we're getting to the point where our hours are limited, and I have a grumpy set of three kids with oh, me, yeah. and just need to get a little bit of sleep so that tomorrow we can actually enjoy Fat Fender and our time together. So. Yep. So that's the game plan. Now we're gonna have a bunch of montages and I will stop every 100 miles to fuel up. <laughs> Alright, we 
we just made it in rolling on fumes I didn't show you guys because I just knocked it out but I had to actually stop and put in 10 gallons um, but we made it we're in Ely Nevada and I'm gonna fuel up I'm gonna figure out what the heck that sound is and then I'll let you guys know I just uh, finished fueling up I'm still here in Ely and uh, I just came over to SSP fabrication which is my buddy Austin's shop and uh, Austin's actually on the way to go get Brian. Uh, Brian's transmission completely gave out. I didn't even know, but uh, about 10 miles after we left that gas station and uh, we had no service up until I got here. So Austin's already on the way to go pick him up with a truck and trailer. So I'm gonna wait here because there's the crazy uh, clicking from the front end. And I really am not sure what it is, but everything is covered in oil and uh, I, just not as mechanically inclined to give a good diagnosis so hopefully these guys will be here in a couple of hours and uh until then i'm going to take a nap in the back and uh hopefully i'll see them soon good morning everybody so it's about 6 30. took a nice nap i see that brian made it over here and travis just called me that he made it here so let's go find all right guys so i just woke up 6 30. Travis actually woke me up and uh, you can see Brian made it home. It's Travis. Let's go say what's up. It's about 6.30 in the morning and this beautiful person just showed up all the way from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we've been trying to figure out a plan and we think that that might be my issue. The wheel was coming loose we had to make some special spaces and stuff and it looks like those slipped through and then it made the wheel loose and the wheel was just bouncing around and that was the shaking and uh, I walked around and touched all the lugs like by hand to see when we stopped last and uh, it didn't it wasn't that loose but I guess you know 40 miles more until I parked here so uh, we're gonna fix it and we're gonna hope that that fixes it and then I'm gonna uh, keep driving all right guys so that was the wheel that was on there you can see a hollowed out basically we had to run these special spacers i don't know if you remember in the last video and uh these special spacers decided to basically cut themselves in half and a bunch of other fun stuff which then made it wobble and then i got out to check just touching the lug studs and they didn't seem loose so i kept driving and now we could see this is all brake fluid the caliper uh has been leaking it and then now this is warped so i pulled my spare out thinking we could just throw the spare on there yeah, these but just be an inch it's not going to be able to happen so the truck for now is going to stay here in ely nevada at uh ssp fab austin's going to take care of it until uh we could get either travis said we could just come back up with his trailer and grab it bring it to phoenix or we'll figure something out but the rest of the trip we're going to be riding with travis So now I get to just hang out, enjoy good heat with some good friends. You guys, uh, you guys ready for this? Oh yeah, it's Still. Only, only another nine hours, you know. Oh, that's it, huh? Yeah. And then it's hard to see, but Brian's truck's right there, and uh, we're gonna have fun. We got a long trip ahead of us. right outside of Vegas We've got about five hours to go and uh, here we have the man himself he might not wear a cape but he definitely is a superhero <laughs> so how much sleep are you running on uh, probably 10 to 15 minutes whatever I snuck in last night while I was driving this is a really weird route for you to go to good guys because like you live in Apache Junction it's like a 45 minute drive usually i like the scenery going this route ah so. was there like detours construction or just a little, a little bit of construction a little bit of detour stuff like that but, but yeah. i figured if you're driving by you might as well you know pick us up right yeah, yeah. Well, you guys were out there and you were bored so 
So what time did you leave last night where you were? Because you were already at the show. We were at the show. We were at dinner when we got the call. So we were at Twin Peaks and then left at 9.30 and we got to you, what, 6, 6.30? Yeah, you woke me up around 6. You said you felt really good being able to wake us up. Well, yeah. I drove all night to wake you up and now we have enough sleep. Well, now we're what? How, how far are we? Like five hours? Five hours. Nice. So it's a short run. Yeah. We're almost there. We're almost there. Brian's truck's looking good. And uh, Travis actually brought an F-250 so that way we could still tow Brian's camper back. So, let's keep on trucking. Guys, we are about a hundred something miles outside of Scottsdale. We are looking good, making a good time. Should be there in about two hours. So uh, that's that. We're gonna hop back on the road after we fuel up. We're here, we just made it. All right guys, so we just made it over here to Good Guys. We're at our camp. Everybody's got their trucks over here. And uh, some guys are still on the show. But this is where I'm gonna end this video. We had a crazy long journey. Uh, supposed to have one of my trucks here, Dusty. Didn't work out, truck broke down, but I just, I'm so happy that nothing happened to me. Nothing happened to the truck. The tire could have came off. I mean, I could have got hurt. The truck could have got hurt. I could have hurt somebody else. That's really all that matters is that everybody's safe. At the end of the day, truck's just a truck. It's materialistic and whatever's wrong with it, we're gonna get fixed. But the memories that I made, you know, trying to make it over here and hanging out with the, my friends and doing all this fun stuff, that's what it's all about. And that's really what I'm all about. And that's, you know, the point of all this, you know, we are Ford Air is what I like to say. And this just goes to prove it because the Ford truck community is just amazing. And everybody that's, you know, a part of it. I just wanna say thank you to every single one of these people and uh you know kyle and brian for coming up with this idea and help me execute it and get to this point and you know it's nobody's fault that we weren't able to make it you know failures happen it is what it is and then uh travis he was here i mean we're at his camp he was set up here last night and uh, about 9 30 he got in his truck and drove straight to come get us got there at 6 30 we loaded up and headed straight back and uh that's it so as always if you guys enjoy this video please smash that like button it really helps us out comment down below let me know what your favorite part of this was and if you want to support us head over to fordair.com i got hats i got shirts stickers keychains all types of stuff um fordair.com and we'll see you guys in the next video